In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to scan a GitHub QR code. Starting off, let's discuss what a QR code on GitHub is for. It's typically used for setting up two-factor authentication, a security process that adds an extra layer of protection to your account beyond just your password. Two-factor authentication, or 2FA as it's commonly referred to, requires not only something you know, your password, but also something you have which can often be a mobile device that can scan a QR code to generate a login code. First things first, you'll need to navigate to GitHub's website. This is where you'll begin the process of enabling 2FA for your account, ensuring that your repositories and personal data are kept secure from unauthorized access. Once you're on the GitHub homepage, look for the sign in button. It's usually located in the top right corner of the page. Clicking this will take you to the login screen, which is your next stop on this journey. At the login screen, you'll be prompted to enter your username or email address. Make sure to input the one you used when you created your GitHub account. This step is crucial as it identifies your specific user account in GitHub system. Following that, you're going to need to input your password. Make sure to type it carefully to avoid any typos that could prevent you from logging in successfully. After you have entered your credentials, proceed by clicking the sign in button. This will grant you access to your GitHub dashboard if your login details are correct. Once you're in, it's time to head over to your GitHub dashboard. This area showcases all your repositories and activities. It's essentially the nerve center of your GitHub experience. Um, in the dashboard, you'll want to select a repository. The choice of repository isn't particularly important for setting up 2FA, but you need to access the repository settings, so just pick any you have listed. Inside your chosen repository, navigate to the settings tab. This section allows you to modify various aspects of your repository but it also has options related to um, account settings. Under the account settings look for the section labeled password and authentication. This is where GitHub consolidates all options related to security and login credentials making it the perfect place to find two FA settings. Within the password and authentication section you'll find the option to Enable two-factor authentication. Clicking on this option begins the process of securing your GitHub account with an additional layer of security. GitHub will present you with several options for 2FA, but our focus today is on using a QR code. When you choose to set up 2FA through a QR code, uh, GitHub will display a unique code on your screen. This is where you need your mobile device. Using an authenticator app on your smartphone or tablet, scan the QR code displayed on your computer screen. These authenticator apps generate time-based codes that, once set up, provide the second factor in two-factor authentication. And that's essentially it. Scanning the QR code with your mobile device ties your GitHub account to your physical device, significantly enhancing your account's security. Each time you log into GitHub after entering your password, you'll be prompted to enter a code generated by your authenticator app. This ensures that even if someone gets hold of your password, they still won't be able to access your account without also having your mobile device. Remember, security is a paramount concern in today's digital world, and setting up two-factor authentication on platforms like GitHub is a smart way to protect yourself. It might seem like a few extra steps each time you log in, but the peace of mind it offers is well worth the effort. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials on enhancing your online security and making the most out of your development tools. Be sure to protect your digital life and happy coding.